Hey guys, what's going on? This is Parker with Six Gill Fishing here in the Six Gill Studio, here to make a video uh, by popular demand on how to replace these stainless steel ball bearings in our reels to the hybrid ceramic bearings. This is a great way to supercharge your reels to make them smoother and cast further. So let's head over to the light box and show you guys how to get the most performance out of your six gill fishing reels. So what you're going to need is a six gill fishing reel. I'm using the Deluge 7 to 1 right handed reel. It is our most affordable reel and can be found on our website at sixgillfishing.com. You're going to need a pair of channel locks, some sort of pick, and if you have them handy, some bearing pliers as well. So first things first, we're going to take our reel and we're going to take off the side plate. That is simply done by backing off this screw and pushing this either down or forward. That exposes the magnetic brakes in there and your spool. We're going to start out with the easiest bearing to remove and that is going to be the bearing found on your side plate here. If you can see here, there is a very small retention spring or retention clip. You're going to have to remove that first to get the bearing out. Be careful because typically on removal, uh, there's a chance that it will go flying away and then be very hard to find. I typically will have a thumb uh, placed here on top of it to keep it from going around. You can cup it in your hand. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to try to do my best to keep it exposed so you can see how I do this. So you can see along here the edges, there's a, a bit of a gap. Um, we're going to get the pick inside that gap. I'm beginning to move that clip out. Oh, it popped out, but it landed on the microphone. Um, so you can see that this can be quite pesky, but this is what needs to be removed from the, the side plate. So we're just gonna set that down there for now. The easiest way to get side plate bearing out is by removing your spool from your reel, put the spool inside the side plate, just apply some pressure either up or down. I like to come up towards me. Keep your thumb, your hand gripped on here, uh, some pressure on the spool and move the spool up towards you. And it removes the bearing. And now we have a uh, open space here for the bearings. Now when you order the bearings, uh, it's under the accessories tab in the Six Gill Fishing website. It's gonna come in a small plastic bag with two different sized bearings. The small bearing is the bearing that goes into the side plate and the one with the larger gap goes on the spool shaft, which we'll get to here in a moment. And we're just gonna simply get this small bearing here and we're going to pop it in the side plate. That's simple as that. Now we can just get the retention spring or retention clip and you should be able to just use your fingers. Yep, pop right back in. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our spool. We're gonna have to remove this set pin here that's on the spool. So we're gonna show you how to remove this pin and get that bearing off and replace it with the hybrid ceramic bearing. The idea of moving this out is you're gonna have to apply pressure on one side and push it through the other. I'm using channel lock grips and as you can see, it's kind of offset right here, so we can place the uh, pin on one side while it's exposed on the other. Now you can see that the bottom is touching, making contact with the channel lock, while the top is not. So that's what we want, and be careful not to bend the spool shaft. We wanna to try to keep everything as straight as possible. So I'm just gonna apply some pressure. You can hear it kind of move, that's okay. Okay, so that's kind of pushed it through. Now you can see that the pin has moved out a little bit. Once it's moved out from one side to the other, uh, we're gonna have to fully remove it. You can use a pair of channel locks to remove it by grabbing it and pulling it. You can use the bearing pliers to remove it as well. Just go ahead and grab that. Get some good pressure on there. Again, we don't wanna bend anything. We wanna keep it as flush as possible. Sometimes, uh, Putting your fingers here will help. Okay, so that popped off quite easily. We wanna keep this, this is very important. We're just gonna set this down here. And now we have the ability to just simply remove our bearing. So we're gonna set this down here and we're gonna take our ceramic bearings and just slide it on. Now we're gonna put this pin back in. What I like to do is I like to line it up first 
I'm gonna use the channel locks because this is gonna be more of a household tool that everyone has. Again, this is offset, so we're gonna put the pin on this side and have it exposed on that side. All right, so you can see that there, we're just gonna apply a little pressure. Okay, that looks pretty solid there. Something to keep in mind is we wanna make sure that there's an equal amount of distance between each side of the pin here. This is gonna allow the pinion gear to grab hold of it uh, the way it's intended to uh, and keep things from moving around. Sometimes you may need to uh, adjust it, just add a little pressure to one side, but what you don't want is having one side a lot longer than the other. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the body of the reel. We're gonna just put that back inside. We're gonna grab the side plate and rotate it up, make sure it's all lined up. We're gonna get that thumb and push it forward. Perfect. Something else to keep in mind is the ceramic bearings are gonna be a little louder than the shielded stainless steel bearings. This will quiet over time. The more you fish with it, the more you cast with it, the more they're gonna open up and the quieter they're gonna get. And that's it, super effective, super simple. Some things to keep in mind while you're on the water is you've basically now made your reel a high-speed reel. Although we are increasing the capabilities of our reel, we're also increasing the capabilities of a backlash. That's something to keep in mind because these are high-speed bearings. What I would recommend is you tighten your brakes a little tighter than what you would usually do and then slowly back off as you get used to the ceramic bearings. If you have any questions or comments, let us know below in the comments section. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we always have more content coming out. I hope you enjoyed this video today and we'll see you in the next one.